Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will be discussing covered call and protective put, which are famous option trading strategies. So before starting my presentation, I request all of you to please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. The important point which you have to remember here is that either you trade in covered call or you trade in protective put. You have to trade both in an option and in the underlying asset. So in covered call, we will see writing a covered call and reverse of writing a covered call. And in protective put, we will see protective put strategy and reverse of protective put strategy. Here we will see four profit patterns from four portfolios. Our first portfolio is a short position in European call option combines with a long position in a stock. That is short call plus long stock. This is called writing a covered call strategy. Second portfolio is a long position in a call combines with a short position in a stock. That is long call plus short stock. This is called reverse of writing covered call strategy. Third portfolio is a long position in a European put option combines with a long position in a stock. That is long put plus long stock. This is called protective put strategy. And the fourth portfolio is a short position in put option combines with a short position in a stock. That is short put plus short stock. This strategy is called as reverse of protective put strategy. So the important point which you always keep in mind here is whenever you make these four profit patterns, you have to trade both in option and in the underlying asset that is the stock. So the combination of option and the stock will make the following four strategies. To make a portfolio for all four profit patterns which I have discussed, we have to take into consideration certain assumptions which are as follows. For convenience, we assume that the asset underlining the options is a stock. Next, profit from the trading strategy is calculated from the final payoff minus the initial cost without any discounting. There are a number of different trading strategies involving a single option on a stock and the stock itself. The dashed line shows the relationship between profit and the stock price for individual securities constituting the portfolio. The solid line shows the relationship between the profit and the stock price of the whole portfolio. Now the important question that comes here is how to draw these four profit patterns with the help of the figure. Here we have to draw four figures, two for covered call and two for protective put. So to make figure for four profit pattern, we must have to follow some rules. How to make a figure for long and short position in stock, long and short position in call option and long and short position in put option. So let's find it out. So first we will see long and short position in a stock that is underlying asset with the help of two figure. Figure A is showing the profit from long position in a stock that is long stock and figure B is showing profit from short position in a stock that is short stock. The long and short position of a stock is done in the equity market where we buy the stocks we sell the stock. So now we see long stock what is this long long means buy. When we buy something, we buy something when we are bullish that the price in future will go up. So in long stock, we expect that the market price, the stock price will move up after our 
buying. As a result, the shape of long stock line will be upward sloping. That means we have bought something at a lower price and then after the bullish move in the market, the price has risen and has given us huge profit. But what happens if after our buying the market price goes down, we will have loss. So this is the position which is showing you that if you are buying something, you buy at a low price and if the market is going up, bullish move, the price will go up and the rising price will give you huge profit. But if the market goes down after you're buying, it will give you a huge loss. Now come to the second situation. When we short a stock in the equity market, short means sell. This can be done by two ways. Either you have having the underlying asset commodity and you expect the price to fall in future. You sell it at a high price before falling. Or it can be done by another way. If you don't have the ownership of any asset or underlying, you borrow it from your broker. After borrowing, you sell it at a high price and wait the market to fall down. As soon as the market falls down, you buy it at a lower price and book the profit. After booking the profit, you return the asset or underlying back to your broker. So that is called short selling or shorting. So that means when we take a short position, selling position, we expect the market to fall down. So if the market falls down, take a bearish move, the stock price falls down, that will give us huge profit. But if the price goes up against our expectation after shorting the price goes up that will give us the huge loss because we have sold it in the anticipation that market will fall down and after selling the market goes up and that upward move of the market will give us huge loss now we will see how to draw the lines for a long and short positions in put option. Figure A will be showing you the profit from long position in a put option, that is long put, and figure B will be showing you the profit from short position in a put option, that is short put. Now let us see the profit of a long put holder. What is long put? Long put means you are getting a right to sell the underlying at a strike of K. To sell the underlying at a strike of K, you have to pay the option premium. You trade with, start with a negative opening. That means this is the option price, your option premium which you have to pay to get the right to sell the underlying at K. After getting the right, if the stock price falls down, that will give you the unlimited profit being a long put holder. But what happens if the price will go up? Will you sell it in the option market? No. You will sell in the open market at a current price, at a stock price, and your option will get expired. What would be your loss? Your loss would be a limited loss equal to the option price. The option price, what you have paid to get the right to sell the underlying at a strike of K, that amount of money will go in the pocket of your opposite party that is the short put holder. So the trade of a short put holder will start from a positive balance. The short put holder has given a right to sell the underlying at strike of K. If the price falls down 
the stock price falls down below this strike the short put holder will have a unlimited loss but if the stock price goes up the holder of a short put will have a limited profit and that profit will be limited to the option premium so the limited profit of a short put holder is equal to the limited loss of a long put, long put holder and the unlimited profit of a long put holder is the unlimited loss of a short put holder now we will see the long and the short positions in call option figure a will be showing you profit from long positions in a call option that is called long call and figure b will show you the profit from a short position in a call option that is called short call so let us see the profit of a long call what is long call long call means you are getting a right to buy the underlying at a strike price of k the trade of a long call will start when he will pay the option price or option premium to get the right to buy the underlying at strike of k now if the stock price goes up the holder of a long call will have unlimited profit because the stock price of underlying has risen but what happens if the stock price goes down in the open market will he buy from the options no so then what would be his loss his loss will be equal to a limited loss which is equal to the option price what he has paid to get the right to buy the underlying asset at k so the amount of money which has gone out of his pocket to get the right to buy will go into the pocket of his opposite party that is short call the short call trade starts with a positive balance the holder of a short call will have unlimited loss if the stock price goes up and if the stock price goes down he will have a limited profit so this shows that the limited profit of a short call holder is equal to a limited loss of a long call holder an unlimited profit of a long call holder is unlimited loss of a short call holder let us see the first pattern writing a covered call where the portfolio consists of long position in a stock combines with short position in call so here long position in a stock means long stock and you are bullish on that stock you expect the price to go up if the stock price increases after your buying or going long at a lower price the price goes up you will be having huge profit in long stock now we will see what happens to short call if you are taking a position of short call in options that means you have a profit which is equal to the option premium when you start the trade but if the price goes up beyond the strike that will give loss to the short call holder because the increase in price will be giving the unlimited loss to the short call holder but if the price will fall down the short call holder will have a profit which is limited to the option price now here the important thing to note is the loss of a short call will be compensated by the profit of long stock when the prices are going up 
and the total payoff will be seen from this white thick line which shows the long stock position covers or protect the investors from the payoff on the short call that becomes necessary if there is a sharp rise in the stock price. Let us see reverse of writing a covered call which comprise a long position in a call that is long call along with a short position in a stock that is short stock. So here let us first see how we will draw a long call. Long call means that you are going to buy and you are bullish on that stock. So once you buy, you expect the price to go up. This stock price goes beyond the strike, will give you the unlimited profit from long call. But what happens if price goes against your expectation? If the price goes against your expectation, you would have a loss. But that loss would be a limited loss equal to the option price what you have paid to get the right for a long call. Now, since the market has gone against your expectation, instead of moving up, it has gone down. So now your long call will be insured or compensated the loss of long call by taking one short stock. So you will short a stock and now if the price goes against your expectation, the price falls down, your short stock will have unlimited profit. So the short stock will earn for you if the expectation of long call goes wrong. So your total payoff will be seen with the help of this white line which is drawn here. This clearly shows that a short stock position covers or protect the investor from the payoff on the long call that becomes necessary if there is a sharp fall in the stock price. Let us see the protective put strategy. It involves a long position in European put, that is long put, combines with long position in a stock, that is long stock. So first we will start with put. Here we are buying a long put. Buying a long put means right to sell. When we get a right to sell for something, when we expect the price to fall down after getting the right. So suppose we pay the option premium to sell the underlying at a strike of K. So if the stock price falls down, that will give us unlimited profit because we have already sold it at a strike of K. But what happens if instead of falling, the stock price goes up? Will you still sell in the option market? No. Then what would be your loss? Your loss will be a limited loss, which is limited to the option premium. So if the price, the stock price goes down after buying a long put, that is buying a right to sell, that will give you unlimited profit. But if the price goes up, you will let the put expire and sell it into the open market at a stock price or current market price. And your option will expire. So this loss can be covered by buying a long stock. You buy a stock, if the price, instead of falling down, it goes against your expectation and goes up, your long stock will earn for you. So this shows your payoff will be this line, which is showing the total payoff. 
which will be a king at point K that I strike. That shows after the strike, your payoff will be upward sloping parallel to this long stock line and giving profit to you. This clearly shows that the long stock covers, protects or ensures the investor from the payoff on a long put that becomes necessary if there is a sharp rise in the stock price against the expectation of long put. Let us see the fourth profit pattern, which is reverse of protective put here. Our portfolio comprises of a short position in a put combines with short position in a stock. So let us see short put. Short put means you are giving a right to the long put holder to sell the underlying at a strike of K. So once you have given a right, you will get the option premium. So your trade is start with a positive balance. That is option premium, what you have received, option price to give the right to the opposite party, a long put holder, right to sell. So this is your profit. Now, what is your expectation? You expect the stock price would go beyond the strike of K. If the price goes up, that will give you a profit. Your profit will be a limited profit. That is equal to the option premium, what you have received by giving the right to sell. Now, if the market goes against your expectation and started falling, the stock price fell down, you will have unlimited loss because the market has gone against your expectation. So your unlimited loss will be insured or covered up if you will short a stock. So if the market fall down, you take a short position in a stock. That means you sell a stock at a high price and wait for the market to fall down. As it falls down, you buy it at a low price. So the loss from short put will be covered or insured from the profit from short stock. And your final payoff will be a white thick line which is showing you the total payoff and this line is king at strike. Always respect this strike point from where your option lines will be king. So if the price falls down against your expectation, your total payoff will give you a profit because your stock, shorting the stock is earning for you. So this line is parallel to this line. And when you draw the total payoff, you always draw the payoff line for your option opposite to what you have drawn for you creating a strategy. So if you have taken a short put, your total payoff will start from here. And then you this line will be parallel to your stock line. So this shows that your short stock position covers, protects or ensures the investor from the payoff on a short put that becomes necessary if there is a sharp fall in the stock price against your expectation. If you have any question on this presentation, Please put your question in the comment section and like and subscribe my channel to get further notification. Thank you so much.